Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and continuing my Monday mini-series of Disney themed unboxings. I of course have the Series 8 Disney Adorables and a lot of other fun items including the update from Just Play and that incident of episode two. So lots of fun stuff. I can't wait to unbox and see what we get. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. We are a collector hobby and review channel. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. As usual, we have our Series 8 Disney Adorables multi-peak box to open. Here is the code. So this one's a Q04. We've had a lot of M's. Okay, so let's let's see what's inside. Still on the hunt for some Alice in Wonderland characters. And after we see what's in this box, I have a little package for the replacement pieces of episode two. So that was great. I'll, I'll give you guys that update. And here we go. So the big reveal. We have five, which is our normal, our normal five. Okay, let us begin up top. Blam bag inside. We're off to another great start. <laughs> and we have Snow White. Oh, cute. Is she the scented one? I know there's the scented princesses. Oh, maybe. It's very light, lightly scented. So we found another special edition, which is awesome. And she is scented. She smells kind of like soap to me, but she's supposed to be scented apple. And I do like how she's holding the apple. Very cute. Hmm. She just smells kind of sweet, but still a, a fun idea. A different twist with Disney Adorables to have some scented ones. Moving on here. We have, oh, it's King Candy. He enjoys our company because we've seen him a few times. And I think he's a rare too, right? Yep. So he's the green rare. So you can check him off three times. <laughs> On to the middle door. And inside, yes, we have Alice falling down the rabbit hole. Okay, I love it. And you can stand her on her head. That is cute. That is really cute. And yes, it's been a while, but we have an Alice in Wonderland figure. Here is our Alice set. Oh, not making too much progress, but you know what? We have the lead character, so I will definitely take that. Okay, next door. So this one feels rather large. And oh, it's Sully from Monsters, Inc. Waving high. He is very cute, but he is a double and he was a common. And then our very last door down here. We have, oh, we have me from Turning Red. And we actually found her last week as well. So we're stacking up on some of the doubles and she is a common. So out of that five, we have two new ones. One is the special edition, which is awesome. And then one is Alice, which is so cute. And I love her standing on her head. If you turn her around, her eyes are a bit, a bit off. But when she's upside down like that, you can't really tell. So she's cute. And now for our package. So this was sent to me by the customer service of Just Play after I contact them with the box that had seven doors, but two of them were empty. So they requested, you know, the picture of the figures I got, the code and everything. So I'm assuming what's in here are going to be the two missing characters from those first two windows. So fingers crossed that they're characters we need, and this will show you what should have been in that box. But I do want to say Just Play addressed that quickly and promptly and set this within like seven to 10 days it arrives. So um, good job with the customer service for, for that company, which if anything goes wrong with your Disney Dorables, um, don't hesitate to contact the, the company and just have your proof and documentation and pictures and receipts and all that good stuff. So it doesn't feel like there's anything in here besides bubble wrapped figures. So there's no paperwork and inside, oh, we're having a laugh. <laughs> So these are the two figures from that box of episode two. You can check that out. Oh, wow, they're taped. Let me get my scissors. They're nicely wrapped. Okay, so <laughs> I told you he really likes us. So there is another King Candy. Oh my goodness, this is 
these jokes write themselves, to be honest. So we have King Candy, which, <laughs> hi friends, <laughs> there we go. And then he is a rare though. And then we also have one of the Tinkerbell fairies. This is Silver Mist. Oh, she's really cute with the, the shiny hair and she is also a common. Um, alas, both of them we have found in other boxes, but you know what? Those are the missing figures. So the Disney Dorables saga has ended, which is great. We will put that behind us and move on. We have a little Disney Happy Places. You guys remember these? These were really cute and they had like Shoppies dolls that matched, which I think I got like the Minnie Mouse one, but man, looking back at some of my old toy hunts, it's like, oh, I wish I, I had purchased some other things <laughs> while they were around. But I still have a few of these blind boxes. And I hope to get maybe a Minnie Mouse one. So let's see. Oh, we have Belle, which is a good choice as well. And then you get the little tile. And you'll get three mini figures. And you have a checklist. Ooh, these are all very small. So let's start here. And yes, we have a mini book. Oh, it's like the menu, perhaps? The Be Our Guest? That's cute. That is very cute. And then here we have, oh, I think this is a vase. Continues the red and yellow theme. And then our last one. Oh, wait, is that a napkin? I'm not sure what that is. We have the plate, but it's the iconic plates. The, the pink and blue. I love that. My bad. And in the middle part, this is the napkin that holds like your fork. So there we go. So those teeny tiny pieces, you always want to make sure that everything's out because their bags are like <laughs> kind of large. <laughs> Things can get lost. On the checklist, we have a bell home decors and we have the book plate fork and holder. Oh, I like that. That's cute. Before we move on to the Disney Wishables, I wanted to share this as Disney pin with you guys. I purchased this at Disneyland. I'm pretty sure Disney Shopping has them too. And it's the Disney Mirrorverse series, which has such cool characters. And I had no idea that Jack Skellington was part of the Mirrorverse. And he looks so cool. I don't know what he's holding. I think it's his like magical thingy. It almost looks like he's the Hatbox Ghost because he has such a tall top hat. But either way, I love his design for Mirrorverse. And they came out with these limited release pins. They had quite a few other characters. But Jack Skellington looks so cool. Fingers crossed that they make him in an action figure because I would gladly, gladly buy him. I love his art design. Cool packaging. So let's get him off the backer card. Ooh, that came off rather easily. And on the back, it just has the little stamp says limited release, Disney pins, Mirrorverse, and some Mickey heads. And he's a cool design. It's, it's textured in 3D, but he's a metal pin, not cloisonné or enamel. And look at how cool. So if you're a Jack Skellington Nightmare Before Christmas fan, these pins are awesome. And last up for this video, stashed away in the mini toilet vault, I have one of the Disney Parks wishables from the Main Street Electrical Parade 50 years celebration. And I don't know about you, I do like the wishables. Munchlings are cute too, but wishables are just like kind of like the OG blind bag plush for Disney. And I really love the Electrical Parade series. Rumor has it that it might go to Walt Disney World now that it's done at Disneyland so so we shall see and what's really cool is that these plushies glow in the dark so you can find Goofy's train the twinkling turtle the lightning bug or the Mickey's drum parade float and I believe it was the turtle that had a bonus like chase figure chase plush you could find as well okay so let's see who is inside oh that's a hard character to open <laughs> there we go and we have, oh, we have the glow bug. Okay, the lightning bug. Oh, classic. And they're also the ones that will light up and like wag at you or spin around. Ah, oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So they have a little texture and all these little dots glow in the dark. Here's another look at all our Disney items we opened today. Feel free to let me know which one was your favorite. 
As for me, I really do like our Alice figure. However, I'm going to choose the lightning bug plushie from the Electrical Parade. And also Jack Skellington, because he's just too cool. <laughs> so uh, that'll do it for episode five of my Disney series. Wow, that means next week is our last one. What? That happened. That happened rather quickly, as it usually does. But I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And I want to thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.